and welcome to Wallace's Workshop, Mac Productivity Tips for Teachers. In this installment, I'll be showing you how to make PDF files on your Mac quick and easy. But first, what's a PDF file and why would you want to make one? According to Wikipedia, PDF stands for Portable Document Format. PDF is an open file format created and controlled by Adobe Systems for representing two-dimensional documents in a device-independent and resolution-independent fixed layout document format. Each PDF file encapsulates a complete description of a two-dimensional document that includes the text, fonts, images, and two-dimensional graphics that compose the document. Where's the benefit? PDF files do not encode information that is specific to the application software, hardware, or operating system used to create or view the document. This feature ensures that a valid PDF will render exactly the same regardless of its origin or destination. In other words, if you make a PDF document on your Mac, you should be able to view and print it exactly as it looks on other computers, whether they're Windows machines or Macs. Great! How do I do it? When you're busy researching and making materials for your classes, you can quickly and easily make PDFs from practically any application in OS X. TextEdit, AppleWorks, iWorks Pages and Keynote, MS Word, iCalendar, AddressBook, as well as Safari and any other internet browser. Since a lot of research is done online, let's look at Safari. Let's say that you've come across an interesting article that you'd like to save for a class or maybe send to your students or a colleague. Go to the menu bar, File, go down to Print, but instead of clicking on Print, go over to PDF, click on that, it'll give you a drop down menu, Save as PDF, then you can choose what to name the file, where you want to save the file, and save. I've saved the file to my desktop. Let's open it up and take a look. You'll notice the PDFs open in Mac's Native Image Viewer Preview. You can see the PDF has kept everything the way we saw it in Safari. If we had tried to cut and paste to save as text or perhaps saved it as an HTML file, it would inevitably look different on different computers that have different browsers or software. This way we can keep and present it exactly as we've saved it. Let's take a look at the file size. 120 kilobytes, less than one megabyte, no problem storing that on a hard drive or attaching it to an email. So that's a quick guide to making a PDF on your Mac. Thank you for visiting Wallace's workshop. Mac productivity tips for teachers.